It's the water in the butter that makes it foam and splatter when the temperature is high. As long as there's water in the butter, the temperature will be around 100 degrees. As soon as it stops foaming, the water has evaporated, it's gone away, and the temperature of the butter fat will rise quickly. Because butter is actually not just fat. It's 19% water, 1% milk solids, and the rest is butter fat. Those 1% milk solids is what causes the butter to burn, but it's also what gives that nutty and caramelly butter flavor that we all love. So we want our butter browned, not burned. I have tested this, and if you want to prevent butter from getting too dark, you can pan fry at 170 degrees for 10 minutes. At 180 degrees you have 5 minutes, and at 190 degrees you have 2.5 minutes. However, if you lower the temperature to 160 degrees, you have 20 minutes, and if you lower it to 150, you have 40 minutes. If you want to pan fry for a longer time or at a higher temperature, you can use clarified butter. You simply melt the butter, and then you separate the water and the milk solids. These will sink to the bottom of the melted butter because they are heavier than the butter fat. Clarified butter doesn't smoke until 250 degrees, and nothing needs cooking at a higher temperature than that. Unfortunately, you don't get as much butter flavor from clarified butter because it lacks the milk solids that gives the flavor. Instead, you can use ghee where you let the water boil away from the butter fat, and then you wait for the butter fat to get hot enough to caramelize the milk solids. And then you strain the butter to remove most of the milk solids. That retains all of the butter flavor, and it can still withstand a lot higher temperatures than just butter.